Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my Code to Care series. I'm doing a couple of videos on how generative AI models are trained. Uh, and there's really three ways that they get trained. One is pre-training. Uh, and I did a little short video on that, which I'll link in the uh, message below. The second is fine-tuning, and that's what I'm going to talk about here. And the third is something called prop before the prompt, which I'll cover um, in a separate video. So pre-training is getting the model already trained by one of these big companies that produces one of these large language models. So fine-tuning is an optional step, um, but, uh, but many people do it because it's not that hard, and it really helps your model become better. And what fine-tuning is, is basically uh, it's similar to pre-training, where you're taking a large corpus of text and you're training the model things like predicting missing words, sentences that go together, just your way around that uh, text but you're doing the same activities with your own documents. So your own documents are for your own subject matter. They might be documents about internal policies or documents about your, your, your uh, source code, you know, if it's a, a coding model, those kinds of things. So you're, you're um, teaching the model its way around your language, your documents, the way things flow together in your environment. Uh, and that allows the model to perform more tailored to your specific situation. So um, so there's really kind of two different things that I've seen from a fine-tuning point of view. So the first is um, same as pre-training, but your docs. So same exercise in pre-training, predict the next word, uh, predict the missing words, predict whether these two sentences go together, those sorts of things, except it's on your language, your material, that kind of that kind of thing. Uh, and the other is just uh, training it on your task. So you might have a large language model that predicts uh, whether a patient portal message is urgent or not. So you can take that large language model. You can um, put a head on that model, it's called. So the model is a complicated neural network. But on the end, you put additional final layer um, that um, will predict a yes or no. And then you take your data, you have labeled data, let's say, of whether patient portal messages are urgent or not, or, uh, or some other question, uh, whether, whether something's a no-show or not, that kind of thing. Uh, and then you train based on your label. So you have a prediction, you have your label, yes and yes, let's say. And then you adjust the weights of your final layer, but also you can adjust the weights of the whole LLM to be good at this particular task. So portions of the LLM related to the task, words, uh, phrases, relationships related to what you're uh, applying the model to will start to sort of pop up, be a little bit tailored, uh, be fine-tuned in a sense to get better at your task than a very generic model just trained on the overall English language, let's say. So those are the two ways that you might fine-tune a, uh, a model on your own private documents or for your own task. Uh, and then the model will perform better. And one of the main uses of fine-tuning these models, in addition to accuracy, it allows you to use a smaller model. It might be an on-prem model, might be a, a, a smaller language model or a medium-sized language model, but it's fine-tuned on your stuff. And that might end up being equally accurate to a huge model and a little bit cheaper to run and, and more practical, um, depending on your, your, uh, your technology. So I hope that was interesting. Uh, in my next video, I'll cover what prompt before the prompt is all about, which is the third type of training for Gen AI. Thanks.